Silvera is also under investigation for corruption and tampering in connection with what the police suspect to be an attempted elaborate cover-up of his wife's brutal murder. It's understood that the police are probing the circumstances in which it appears the barrel of Silvera's licensed firearm was altered in the aftermath of Melissa's murder. Silvera, who is chairman of the PMP's Founders Group, is under investigation in connection with the suspected tampering of the weapon. The police made a breakthrough in the case when unique markings on a bullet that was found inside Mrs. Silvera's body corresponded to records stored at the Firearm Licensing Authority, FLA, which outlined particulars of the weapon that was assigned to Silvera. Silvera could face additional criminal charges. DPP Paula Llewellyn's office is expected to issue a voluntary bill of indictment today, transferring the Silvera murder case from the first mentioned court in Halfway Tree to the Home Circuit Court in downtown Kingston. Nationwide News understands that the police are also moving to interview at least two prominent members of the PMP who are former members of Parliament who visited the bloody crime scene after Mrs. Silvera was killed. PMP Vice President and MP for Northwest Manchester, Mikhail Phillips, has already given a statement to detectives from the JCF's major investigation division, the MID. On November 11 last year, PMP President Mark Golding disclosed Mrs. Silvera's demise to the country via his social media pages, including Facebook. Mr. Golding wrote that Mrs. Silvera had passed away and expressed what he described as sincere condolences to Jolian Silvera. On December 16, Mr. Golding amended the Facebook post to remove the name Jolian Silvera and instead offered condolences to the Silvera family. By then, the police had upgraded the case involving Mrs. Silvera's death to a murder probe after a post-mortem revealed that she did not die of natural causes, but her life was cut short by three gunshots. The police say Melissa Silvera was shot dead while she slept in her bed in her matrimonial home. Jolian Silvera is denying wrongdoing. He's currently represented by King's Council. Yeah, man, my viewers and my subscribers, so... A bag of things are going on in our media right now. A bag of things are going on, Mr. Silvera, but we are continuing to keep on posted. So just continue to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It's the best if you're new to the channel. Do remember to like the video, watch the video to the end for YouTube recommendation. So bless up in my viewers and my subscribers because there's a lot more to hear. There's a lot more out there where I am. We are going. Some of you are just stay tuned, watch, like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more.